Well, the bullets showed up today for the 348. These are the Barnes bullets. And I got them from Graffs. But uh, it's a spendy bullet. You know, they're getting close to a dollar. Well, it was $45 for 50 and then there was shipping, so it brought a little more in there. But, you know, I got bullets. And, you know, I remember reading that these require 2,200 feet per second to actually function properly. Well, the loading information is pretty sketchy on these, especially for this 220 grain. But I found in the, in the Lee deal here, The, the right information that I needed. And in theory, these that I loaded up should be a little over 2,400 feet per second. So we've got a little margin there, but we'll see uh, when he brings the gun up, we'll play around with them over the chronograph and see what they're actually doing. And I'm curious, he, he was getting desperate and he ordered in a couple of boxes of that Buffalo bore, 250 grain. I'm curious to see what they'll go, but you know that was I think $86 a box he said, and uh, of course then you got shipping on them, and I don't know most time loaded ammunition you got an extra fee on it because of the danger of shipping it. But they load up fine. And uh, the die set I was using was the lead die set, and that's the, the information I was using that came with that. Because uh, even in the, like, get more loaded, even in that manual, uh, there isn't much. You know, 348, most of the information you find is for the 200 grain. And some for the 250. But the 220, that's a little, a little hard to find. But I did have accurate 4350, and it kind of puzzles me. I think maybe I was using that. I might have been trying that in Argentine, because I don't have a lot left in there. So I was shooting it in something, but I'll have to check, you know, see, because I maybe have to buy another can of that. And I had to break out the three-hole turret on my, my old press because normally, you know, like a lot of the stuff I load now is on the four hole because I, I'm i loading cast bullets and I have to have uh, the one to kind of flare the case out. I've got that, that universal die that Lee makes. I've got several of them set up in different die, you know, in, in different turrets. Now with these jacketed bullets, I didn't need to use that. So I went with the three hole, but I have found no information, published information on loading cast with 348. But like I say, one and 12 twist really not conducive to cast. But I have been thinking and I'm gonna try, this is the, the 200 grain bullet from my 35 Remington. Now, I size that modified mold where I cut the gas check base off it, so I got a plain base, that I, and it's a, what, 175 or something grain, that I use in my 351 Winchester. Well, I made a sizing die to bring that down by grinding out a 338 sizing die. So I'm going to have to run one of these full-sized ones through that and see what I get down to. Because it would be possible you know, that, that regular crimping groove would line up pretty well. You know, I think I could use a you know, a, a light loaded cast bullet for playing around with that gun. 
uh, because it, it, you know, a dollar a bullet, that just would burn me, you know, for that. Uh, I'm not into that. Of course, that, like that buffalo boar, <laughs> getting close to buy a buck shot, a shot, that is not my kind of thing either. But the, uh, the die set was not too bad. Uh, like $40 free shipping. But this is one of those uh, kind of odd things that they, they don't make all the time. Yeah, limited production die set. So, you know, it's, it's there and then it isn't there again, you know, so it... Uh, I was lucky to run into one, but it came from an outfit in Minnesota for sportsmen that I have bought a lot of Lee stuff from. I like it because they're not far away, so it comes really quick. And they're always, always really reasonable on their prices. You know, if you buy Lee stuff from Lee, it costs you a fortune. Even if you buy from, uh, like Graphs or uh, Midway or any of them, you end up paying shipping. When I buy from these guys, it doesn't cost me anything to ship it. And if I buy more than one thing, they always combine the shipping. So, you know, it, it, they're pretty good to you deal with. I've been very happy with them, and I was glad to find that they had them. Uh, it's actually originally the two die set, but in this limited production, they throw in the crimp die because you got to have it for a lever action. And the factory crimp die, of course, is very important to have and the Lee one works really well but for a lever action you got to have that good crimp on them so you don't collapse them and this Mars bullet is a good big flat nosed bullet you know uh, but I would like to see about half the price of it <laughs> what it is but but you got to live with what you can get but we'll see now I'll have to check if I got a battery for my chronograph I've used it for a while, but I want to chronograph that 4570 stuff too, you know, that cowboy stuff. So uh, I'll have to maybe run down to get a battery. It takes a little 9 volts and I don't carry them on hand. Or I might have a spare. I sometimes do tend to. But this, it'll be interesting to shoot that. You know, they loaded nice. Uh, the only thing, you know, I measured with the, the scale, everyone, because the dipper that comes with the set, and this powder would measure very accurately with the dipper, you know, it's a little short stick powder. Uh, but this is a 3.4, so you had to do a lot of trickling. But I think it take a mm, three point seven, yeah. And I should have. I just I was doing it out here, and I didn't want to run it in the house and dig that three point seven one out. But that would have made it a little easier, because I'm sure you could very accurately you can very accurately measure with these. You just got to find the right scoop. You know, some powders are hard to measure, but this stuff measured very well. You know, like I say, it's a uh, a stick powder, but a very short stick powder. You know, it's real easy to work with. Gotta figure out what I was using that in, though. Had to be something. But I've got a lot of powders on hand. I just don't, you know, accurate is not one I normally use, so it had to be a special deal. And that sounds like it could have been on that Argentine. Or when I think of it, it could be in maybe the Swiss. I don't know. Well, I'll probably have to buy some more just to be on the safe side because you can't run out of it.